Hello everyone, in this video I would like to introduce you to an, an interesting area where AI and analytics will surely pave its way in the near future. It all has to do with motorcycle racing, telemetry data and its application to improve speed and safety on the racetrack. But I'm sure you will be able to extrapolate this to plenty other civil automotive scenarios where this technology can be helpful. Of course, what follows in this video is my personal take on the topic based on my own experience and aim to build something that is practical as I will be using this during the upcoming season. So without further delay, let's look at the solution. As you can see, I've almost finished building a telemetry system from the ground up. It consists of the dashboard you need LED display section, microcontroller that is hidden underneath the dashboard and the code running on the microcontroller. The whole unit allows me to collect real-time data from various sensors such as tire temperature, tire pressure, brake pressure, suspension movement, gyroscope, GPS, throttle position and even my heartbeat. It also provides data login capability via SD card into which all those data points can be collected and saved for offline analysis. Just to demonstrate how it works, let's initialize the whole system. At the beginning, the system goes through the self diagnostics to assess if all required components are alive and operational, and once this check is done, it defaults to the generic screen that shows all vital data points collected approximately every 100 milliseconds. So here we can see live data coming from tires in the form of temperature and pressure. For each tire, we will collect the temperature data from three sensors, two sides and the center of the tire is on the track there can be temperature differences on each tire side depending on the number of right and left turns made. We're also collecting temperature from the brake rotors. So this is not logged yet, so you see that data is static. To keep track how hot they become as a result of braking, furthermore, we have gyroscope data and g-forces. This may be useful to assess in angles and pitch roll during the braking and acceleration, heart rate is being collected from the Bluetooth Wahoo heart rate monitor, so it's all wireless. No need to plug any wires to the racing suit. We also have analog outputs from the front brake to keep track of the brake fluid pressure in the system. Right now it's hooked under the wrong label but the pressure range is between 100 and 3000 units. It's not scaled yet, it's not calibrated. And whenever we apply any pressure to the brake lever, it puts the measured pressure within that scale range. Same approach will be done for throttle position by tapping into an analog output of throttle position sensor. Finally, we have GPS data that will provide us location on the track for each collected data point, as well as speed and lap timing functionality. So we could keep track of the times it took the rider to complete the lap. To allow the whole unit to be easily configurable and adjustable, I've also added handlebar buttons that can be used to control various functionalities of the unit. For example, we can prepare many different data display screens and rotate between them with a single press of the button. Another interesting area is to use it to dynamically set the finish line. This way, I would be able to go to any track or even a parking lot, set the finish line wherever I want by pressing a button, put the training cones on the ground and start the training in the form of the game, which would be to improve the lap times. <coughs> I'm sorry for this. So, as you can see, 
you can extend this platform to support your own use cases that would fit your individual needs. <clears throat> now, let's move on to the areas where I would like to use it. Personally, I plan to achieve two practical goals with this technology, safety and performance on the truck. So regarding the first goal, safety, I want to make sure that the motorcycle operates within the acceptable safety margin. For this purpose, the system continually checks the tire temperature, tire and brake pressure, brake rotor temperature, engine temp, my heart rate, and when any of those values are beyond agreed range, notifies me about it. For those that ride on the track, you would also spot that it will automate some activities and save some time at the pit stop. For example, one of the most annoying things for me was the need to validate pressure and temp every time I was taking off the tire warmers. With this unit, you would only need to check the readouts on the dashboard and if they are good, off you go to the racetrack. An interesting byproduct of this work is an alternative information display mechanism that I've engineered to address the limitations of the dashboard display. <clears throat> this is how it looks in the flesh. Attached to the helmet is a standalone unit that contains a microcontroller and the wire with LEDs mounted inside my helmet. The controller receives all signals sent by the central unit via Bluetooth wireless communication protocol and based on the type of received signal, activates specific LED with configured color. To avoid irritation and distraction, it is possible to modulate brightness or select what signals are sent via the buttons so that the rider feels comfortable when riding. As you can see, rather than relying on the dash to monitor the relevant information, I decided to build a minimalistic HUD display that guarantees that my vision is on the track and at the same time, I'm able to continuously receive all vital signals via my peripheral vision. This is much better as on the track you simply don't have time to look at the dashboard and it always makes you distracted from a for a fraction of a second. I mean, how often do you check your controls in the car on a public road? On the track, you've got way less time to do that, so the risk you miss important signals because you did not look at the dashboard is very high, and equally the risk of looking too frequently on the dashboard. And because of that, making the wrong actions on the track is also very high. <clears throat> so just to give you an example how it works, I've programmed a scenario where the central unit monitors front brake pressure and signals its value to the HUD. So let's first start the HUD display using a button attached to the, to the end of the box. Once it initializes, I will start it will start receiving signals from the central unit. Just for debugging purposes, I'm also signaling the frequency of sent messages that we can configure to any value. Right now, it's set to 200 milliseconds, and you can see that blinking on the dashboard, indicating when signals were sent to the hard, as well as blinks on the hard, indicating the signals were received. This is only for debugging and testing purposes and in production mode, of course, this blinking activity will not be visible. Okay, we now have the dash and hat talking to each other. So let's get back to our brake pressure scenario. Here, when the pressure grows, different colors of the LED are displayed on the hat. For example, when I press the lever and increase the pressure, you can see that colors change from green up to the highest pressure signal by red. This information is critical as the front brake is the most abused part during track racing and information about abnormal pressure rise in the braking system indicates fluid temperature rise that may eventually lead to front
strong brake lock and the risk of crash. For production use, I will extend this scenario and include more emergency signals that will be sent to the heart in real time. In particular, tire temp and pressure out of range, overheating brake rotor, overheating engine, as well as overheating me that I will measure via the increase in the heart rate. And of course, we will not only monitor the, the bad things, the alerts, but also the good things, which is the lap time performance. So I will see whether I under or overperformed by receiving a signal sent to the heart via a blinking LED mm, with regards to the lap time performance as well. So eventually I hope that I will be able to rely on the heart on the track and use dash only when returning to the pit stop where the bike is stationary and I can just have a look at the actual values themselves without risking crashing or destruction on the track. So apart from safety, there's the second goal, which is riding faster and improving your racing skills. So what's the plan here? This is actually where things are getting interesting from the analytics point of view. First of all, as a point of reference, the, the unit will use GPS data to measure lap times and use the best lap as a reference from which it will distill key performance indicators such as average speed, on throttle time, throttle position and different parts of the track, braking markers, meaning where braking was initiated and brake pressure application when entering the turns that will tell me how well I handled the trail braking technique whether that was improved or not in ongoing series of laps. Having those indicators calculated for the best lap, the unit will then project them to the last completed lap and signal areas where over or under performance was identified by comparing the deviations, differences between both values for each indicator. By having those signals calculated and communicated to me in real time, was on the track, I will be able to use that feedback during the next lap and focus on the areas that require my attention. This is the big difference between using telemetry data in traditional way, offline after the race day, and using it real time to quickly apply the feedback to actions and thus shorten the loop between actions and its effects evaluation or otherwise reward calculated by the unit in reinforcement learning terminology. Reinforcement learning here happens on my side where I reinforce areas that were spotted as quick gains by the analysis. But what area to reinforce is identified by the system via telemetry data and lap time and signal to me to reward or penalty for my recent actions. Again, the beauty of this approach is that it works in real time. When on the motorcycle without the need to offline data analysis. This is a general idea that I will now start to incarnate in the form of the code combine it with hard signaling and start evaluating on real live data captured on the track. If anyone would be keen on hearing more, let me know and I will produce the next episode. For all of you that are interested purely in technical aspects related to wiring, 3D printing, assembly, microcontrollers used, I will also create a separate video where a more detailed overview of the solution will be shown. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and persevered until the end of this video. Talk to you soon. Bye.